Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Excaladraw, two really interesting tools for visual collaboration and brainstorming. I'll break down their features, user experience, integrations, pricing, and more. So by the end of this video, you'll have a very clear idea of which one fits your needs better. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out the link that I've added in the description. Now, if you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just for using my link. Now let's get started. First off, let me give you a quick overview. Miro is a popular online whiteboard tool that helps teams work together in one space. You can use it to plan projects, brainstorm ideas, map out workflows, and even run workshops. It comes with plenty of templates, sticky notes, and flowcharts, plus it connects with lots of other apps. Now, on the other hand, Excaladraw has a completely different vibe. It's an open source whiteboard that feels like drawing on paper, but on your screen. It's simple and clean, focusing on hand-drawn style visuals. This makes it great for quickly sharing ideas without all the extra features. Now let's talk about features. Miro is super flexible. It's great for things like running product sprints, planning marketing strategies, or designing workflows. It has templates and tools to make your work easier. There's real-time collaboration, voting tools, timers, embedded media, and integrations with apps like Slack, Jira, and Notion. Meanwhile, Excaladraw keeps things very simple. It gives you an infinite canvas, drawing tools, export options, and connects with apps like Notion and Obsidian. Since it's open source, developers can tweak it or even host it themselves. It's a solid choice if you want a lightweight tool without unnecessary features. Now let's talk about the user experience. Miro has a clean and professional look, but it can feel a bit much for new users because of how many tools and templates it offers. Once you get the hang of it though, it's amazing for team collaboration. Excaladraw is super simple right from the start. It's hand-drawn style and lightweight design make it feel easy and fun even for people who aren't great with tech. It's perfect when you need to quickly sketch out ideas without worrying about structure. Now when it comes to integration, Miro is really impressive. It connects with tools like Microsoft Teams, Asana, Slack, and Google Workspace fitting easily into your work setup. Excaladraw keeps things fairly simple. It has some great integrations, but works best for local use or exporting files as images or SVGs. Now let's look at pricing. Miro has a free plan. The starter plan costs $8 per person per month, while the business plan is $16 per person per month. And there's also an enterprise plan with custom pricing, depending on your individual needs. Excaladraw also offers a free plan that's free forever, and its plus plan is $7 per user per month. So, which platform should you choose? If you need a full featured visual collaboration suite with templates, integrations, and advanced tools, Miro is the obvious choice. But if you want a lightweight, distraction-free drawing space that's fast, flexible, and perfect for quick idea sharing, Excaladraw is a fantastic alternative, especially for teams who love the casual sketchbook feel. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.